Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Blades of Avernum. Last episode we managed to find this great sword Valnajar, which ended up being a two-handed sword that I don't use. We also took a look in this cave over here, and managed to get Naga Fangs, which we can't turn in because the character has vanished. And right outside this gate is, uh, guys, we don't really want to fight. Four dryads, two centaurs, and a unicorn. Well, this is definitely a more possible situation to deal with. Oh yeah, this is actually something we can deal with. Okay, we can handle this. Okay. Yeah, this is something we can deal with just fine. I was worried because of how powerful they were. This is actually completely handleable. Sure, they have some powers, but without the massive numbers they had, this is... Okay, this is a lot easier. Low chances to hit the wall, which is kind of annoying. And there's a lot of loot here, actually. A lot of value loot. So we actually ended up on the good side that time. Okay. Now let's sell all this loot we happen to have, of which we have much. And I wish this person would show up here so we could give them the stuff we got. But she's completely vanished, and I don't know where she is. Fox leveled up, which is actually quite great. I think you do need dexterity, you need to be able to move a bit faster. And I think that'll be good for now. Cheek, Bonnie, Draco. Draco! Mage spells, yes! Definitely something we want. Which is 13, which we've got all these spells that we can't cast. I mean, at least you have it. Which is good. And I guess a point of endurance. And defense. Sure. Okay. There was this woman who was deathly suppressed for we can't turn it in. <sighs> really frustrating. I think that's all the stuff we have. I don't think we can really go anywhere else. I mean... I wonder if we can actually go into the, uh, Swift Fortress? No. No, we can't. We sure can't go into the Swift Fortress, so... That was where we turned in these gems that we found, so... Are they useless now? Because I think they might be useless now. Which is absolutely wonderful. Well, without any other... Wait, why? No, I don't need to go there. Well, without any other task, I guess it's time to start going into the fairy lands.
All right, down we go. First stop is going to be the altar. A quick glance around confirms one fact. You're not in luck. The shrine is well defended by dryads, centaurs, and the phoenix. No one ever said being a hero was easy, and neither is your mission, but it isn't complicated. Destroy the shrine, then destroy the phoenix. Okay, that was the phoenix. away from the center there. Yeah, I'm not going to let Bonnie be confused like that. Let me reload. On the plus side, now we know what we're dealing with. This is going to be very unpleasant. I can tell you that now. Okay, we're on the opposite side here. Okay, that drew them away. Some of them came closer. chance to be hit. Which is kind of annoying. Centaurs don't, though. I'm amazed at how little chance to be hit the Dryads have. the attention of that guy in the middle. Wow, he is powerful. Very powerful, but definitely something we can handle. At least we know this cheap way that we can get around. Reloading. Okay, get through this again. Okay, I know there's, like, over here. No. I think I screwed that up. Yeah, if we come over on this side...
Okay, healing. And... Healing for Draco. Wait. Okay, you gotta give the haste to Sheik. Wait a minute. I have an idea. If we retreat, we can come back in. I mean, I have this idea, and it could work. I mean, we step out of here. I bet if we walk back in after we step out. Yeah, that could work. If we can kill a few of them and then run and then escape, we'll be able to come in. We'll be able to recharge our energy and everything, and then slowly wh whittle them down. It could work! <coughs> it could work! Reloading. I'm definitely going to try that. If we can get this to work, I'll be very happy. Okay, let's try this again. This time... I'll try and draw them back. Alright, wait, wait... Blessing! Wait... Alright. Now we can work on these guys. Can kill that one from afar. Excellent. Excellent. Healing. <coughs> Healing. Excellent! That got rid of an entire corner of this place. That's perfect. I love it. See what's in here now. Now that I think about it, I 
Oh, we can. A restoration brew. Too many items. Okay, let's fix that. So we've got a restoration brew. On this shelf, you find a dusty old journal from at least 20 years ago. The part you can make out reads, P and I have heard the news of the Godan. While neither of us cares much for the political things, we do care about our home. We are both considering returning, but there is just so much more to learn. We reached an agreement. One of us would return to help defend Molodax, while the other would stay and complete our study of the Dryads. We drew straws, both desiring to stay. I won. I feel bad for P, knowing his feelings for J. Still, I promised I would look after her and return to Molodax should the Godan threat become even greater. Okay. Radiant robe? It's a radiant robe. 15% protection from melee, 10% resistance to magic and acid. Which is pretty good. But I think we need to sell it. And here we have unidentified boots. Interesting. Okay. That's what's in his home. Alright, let's get out of here. Now. Alright. We dealt with some, but we still have more to deal with. can get rid of the ones on each corner. Okay. Fall back. That's the end of town. Charging. All right, this is going to kill two of them. Killed some of them. is powerful, and there's no way we can escape from him once we aggro him. Reloading. Fortunately, we've already whittled down some of them. Wait, why can't I move? Reloading. Why can't I move?
Are you kidding me in here? The game bugged out. Again! Okay, there we go. <coughs> that was weird. And kind of frustrating. guys back. Looks like we only aggroed one this time. Yeah, we only aggroed one this time. That's one. There goes another. Oh, he's right at the right at the entrance there. Maybe. Okay, let's see here. Maybe we can get to him quickly enough. Combat. Okay, I think we can actually deal with Molodax. Or whatever. That's not Molodax. Molodax is the town. It's Grafeocratus. That's his name. Oh, he's he's not going anywhere. Grafeocratus, diplomat and spokesperson for the fairy people, fa falls at your hand. While a powerful fairy has been eliminated as a threat, this will ma likely make resolution with the fairies more difficult. <laughs> Probably, but hey, we did it. <laughs> and we've got an unidentified bracelet, a dragon skin cloak. We have one. You could use that. Too many items. And a blessed robe. this cloak. Alright. And once again, run outside, gain. Oh, there's actually a cache over here. What's in it? A crimson ruby. Not useful for us. Alright, in we go again. Alright, they're far enough away. Charge in. How did you do that? Yeah, like I managed to do that. Okay. Since we can... Running back out, sell all the stuff we have so that we have more space. 
And now that I think about it, I have a feeling the Sylvan Emeralds and the Rubies can both all be sold. Okay. You. We got stuff to sell. And we have something we need identified. Two things we need identified. We're gonna sell the Sylvan Emeralds and Rubies. <coughs> Excuse me. Excellent. We're getting a lot of coins out of this. Alright. Uh, identification. Not in there. Here. Down this way. Alright, you. Got boots of Apollo and priest bracelet. Priest bracelet would actually be very useful. Oh, learn spells. Can we? Nothing I want to improve. Can I be trained, actually? Yeah, it can, actually. Sure, I'll take that. Expensive, but it works. Okay. Now then. That's going there. Priest of Apollo, 1 to 2, plus 1 to gymnastics and riposte. Sure, you can wear them. You're wearing this priest bracelet instead of the electrum. <coughs> Excuse me. So the Electrum Bracelet will be sold over here. Just so we can get rid of it. You. There we go. And that one person still is not here. Okay. We've taken care of about half of the minions over there, but we still need to deal with the phoenix itself. Which is not that bad a thing. This is going to be tricky, though. Especially considering what the phoenix can do. Oh well, we'll deal with them in the next episode, because this episode has gone on about long enough. Till then, I'm Chester44, that is Fox, Sheik, Bonnie, and Draco. This has been a Blades of Avernum Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.